Once you have your two pinch pots made, you're ready to go ahead and marry those together rim to rim. Step one to marry those, we're gonna take serrated rib or a fork, and you're gonna go ahead and score the rims. After you score the rims, you're going to add slip. and then take them and put them together. And make sure you get them rim to rim, as close as you can. Get the coil made, you're gonna go ahead and flatten it out a little bit. Score it. Go around here a little. There should be enough slip on there, but if you feel you need to add some more, you can. Take your coil. Blend it on one side, roll it around till it meets that other side, and then blend it there as well. And you can paddle it lightly as well. The thinner we get that coil before we start blending, the better. And then once we get it all the way around that seam, we're gonna go ahead and blend. Most of you, you will be using a fork. So you'll take that fork and pull clay upward to that top pinch pot from the middle of the coil. Turn it over, do the same to the other side. And then you can go diagonally as well, just to make sure you get a good blend of all three of those clay bodies. Anybody spell that sound for me? And you're gonna cut a hole about the size of a quarter. And so I'm gonna draw like a, the letter C right there, okay? Then I'm gonna take my needle tool, I'm gonna punch it all the way through, drag it around. Take it, pull it up, and then cut it free. Now you're gonna go ahead and get in there and kind of blend that excess slip. It doesn't need to be blended like, and then I'm gonna go ahead and just pinch this up a little bit, but not try to open that hole. Keep that hole shut, but just kind of form my vase a little better. I'm gonna go ahead and place it on top here to see if it fits. It fits, so now I'm gonna go ahead and score the inside and the outside and you can add slip on either I like adding slip on this just because it's it's it'll get pushed down
And then we will take our neck, place it right over the top of that. Careful not to push too hard onto the table. And then at this point, you're gonna to wanna to clean off that excess slip. And then we'll go ahead and blend downward. And at this point now, I can go ahead and add my flat spot. And then just continue to smooth and prepare it for texture. And we don't want to do any texturing or carving until it's all leather hard. That's when you can't pinch it or dent it anymore, but you can still put a fingernail in it. So you got to have some patience before you start doing the stamp.